podcast with chief meteorologist Austin Cheney. All right, Austin, looking at the numbers uh, today, uh, parts of our viewing area hit the 90s. Oh, yeah. You're saying tomorrow might, just might be the last 90 yeah. of the year. Right. Right. Y'all know I'm an optimistic person. <laughs> uh, every day That's after cool. today, yeah, exactly. Every day after today, we're going to be cooling off. And then past the seven-day forecast, think days are getting shorter. Uh, the sun angle is not as strong. So I am hopeful that tomorrow is our last day getting to the 90-degree mark. But we're going to make a strong run at it tomorrow especially during the first part of the day. Mugginess is going to be up there as well. So by the time it's all said and done, we probably feel like 95 degrees. Now, tomorrow at the same time, we're also going to bring back some rain chances, not only tomorrow, but also to Wednesday. Not everybody is going to see one of these showers, but the chance is there. If you get that, it's likely the first time that you've seen some meaningful rainfall in about 12 or so days. No severe weather is expected with this, but some locally heavy downpours possible with a storm or two out there tomorrow and Wednesday. All right, last early warning, top of nine, top of seven, sorry about that, is bone dry as we scan the skies. But we do have showers and thunderstorms just off to our southwest. So this is all part of the same weather system drifting up our way. The coverage here is probably not going to be as widespread as what you see to our southwest. But again, we get the heating of the day tomorrow and that classic summertime pattern comes back. Let's talk about the temperatures first, because uh, that's what you're gonna feel first. They're going to be warming up. 88 to 90 degrees is what I'm expecting for highs. And then after we get that, some of those cooling thunderstorms can begin developing. If you don't have the storm, this is what it's going to feel like. Just after lunchtime tomorrow, 93 degrees here in Dayton. We feel like 92 in Sydney. Perhaps as hot as 94 in Salina. Well, let's see if we can combine some of that humidity with the heat and get some storms. We go into the day tomorrow. First thing, we're dry. Latest round of future cast shows some storms trying to pop off near Mercer County a little after 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and then a better chance for everybody as we get into the evening hours tomorrow. Now you see, not everybody's going to get one of these, but if you do get one of those, locally heavy downpours some frequent cloud to ground lightning would be the main threat. Get to the bus stop in the morning. I do think it's a dry start to the day. Temperature is pretty warm for this time of year, 71 degrees, but... Don't let them leave without the rain gear tomorrow, just in case they get off the bus and there is one of those downpours around. We should be dodging the first showers of the day uh, as we get towards drop-off time. If you don't get lucky with the rain tomorrow, you have another chance on Wednesday. A couple showers and thunderstorms rotating through with an area of low pressure off to our north. After that, we are drying out into Thursday and Friday. And here comes that cooler air. 7-day forecast, 90 we're at tomorrow, 86 degrees on your Wednesday, 82 Thursday, so we're trending in the right direction. Friday and Saturday look like great days, mid-70s. And then we get back into the upper 70s with some very slight rain chances by Sunday and Monday. All right, sir, thank you much. People around Montgomery County shared videos and pictures with WHIO TV tonight. There were mysterious lights in the sky last night. As you can see, they're off in the distance. In this video, you can see the lights hover, then disappear, and then reappear. And in a different video a viewer sent us, it showed the same lights in the sky. Viewers described them as triangle-shaped and hovered slowly. Some even said the lights appeared to merge at one point. So we'll keep asking so-called experts about what this could have been. Big